Hello, my first grader friends. This week, we are adding on to what we learned last week. Last week, we were talking about color and the color wheel. And you made your very own color wheel at home. I love seeing your creativity and your ability to scavenger and find the colors that you need. Before you begin this project, I do want you to watch the read aloud for the book, Mouse Paint. The link is in the description of this assignment. Our assignment this week will be using primary colors. We talked about them last year. Primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. We will also be adding something called secondary colors. And secondary colors are when you mix the primary colors together. So when you mix red and yellow, you get orange. When you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And when you mix red and blue, you get purple. So we will be using that information for our project today. Our project will be of these fun ladybugs. So as you can see, their wings are the primary colors and their bodies are the secondary colors. The background or where your ladybugs are, are is up to you. I had mine on some sticks with some leaves. You could have them flying through the air. You could have them on your arm or your hand. It's up to you on what you want the backgrounds of your ladybugs to be. Let's get started. We have our paper horizontal, that means side to side, and we are simply drawing three circles. They don't have to be perfect. After the three circles, we're gonna do two semicircles, so two half circles on each circle. These are for the wings. This video is sped up, so at any point, please pause the video if you need to catch up. Once we have your two half circles on every side, I did erase the circle lines that were inside of the wings because we don't need those. Next is the heads. The heads are also semicircles with two curly lines for antennas. You could do a different kind of line if you want. Once we're happy with our pencil lines, then it is Sharpie or black marker time. We're going to go over all of our pencils lines. So our first ladybug will have one red wing and one yellow wing. This is one pairing of our primary colors. The next ladybug will have one yellow wing and one blue wing. As you can see, I'm taking my time and coloring it in nice and neat. The last ladybug will have one blue wing and you guessed it, a red wing. Now I went in and colored my ladybug dots. You could do big dots, you could do stars, you could do hearts. It's up to you. I did go back in and color in my heads um, with the black sharpie. I'm doing that for all three of my ladybugs and same thing with the dots. Once I'm all happy with my dots that I have, it's time to color in the body. So for red and yellow, when we mix those two colors, we get orange. And that is a secondary color. For yellow and blue, when we mix that, we get green. And that is also a secondary color. For red and blue, when we mix those, we get purple or violet. And that is also a secondary color. There are only three secondary colors, and they are always orange, green, and purple. For the background, this is really sped up because your background does not have to be like mine. I did some branches and some leaves. I did the branches by just doing some wiggly lines, and I did the leaves by doing teardrop shapes and lines on the inside. Your background could be the ladybugs on a window seal, it could be them on a plant, it could be them on your hand. That is all up to you. I did go in and color my leaves green and my branches brown. And this is just about it. Woohoo! Woohoo! 
we're all done with our primary and secondary colored ladybugs. I can't wait to see how you did yours, so make sure you take a photo and post it into Seesaw or Google Classroom. Bye!